July 28th. Okay, so we had the last quarter moon pop off in Taurus energy late last evening. And of course, the last quarter moon is an aha moment. It's an epiphany. We're looking back, we're reflecting over the past month, we're kind of, you know, weighing the pros and cons, we're understanding what is working for us, what isn't working for us, what we have to bring in end closure to, and what we have to kind of clear the space for as far as new visions, goals, and dreams go. Now, the moon is going to be in Taurus energy all day here today, but we have an abnormally quiet day, meaning... There are four different aspects taking place here today. Four is just unheard of as of late. And all four of them are involving the moon. So this is essentially a moon day. And when we have a moon day, it means that we are emotionally refining ourselves. We are kind of building upon our goal, our vision, our dream. And we are putting the pieces together on what we're moving away from and what we're moving closer to. So... I think it's a very interesting dynamic that we only have four aspects popping off here today. On a Sunday, Sundays are ruled over by the sun. The sun is in his rulership, in Leo energy, kind of downloading us with boldness, with bravery, with courage that is needed in order for us to make some major changes, some major transitions, if you will. The moon, our emotional realm in Taurus energy, first of all, we have no desire to look too far back. We equally don't have a desire to look that far into the future because we're really needing to kind of be present. We have to be present and in our physical form, in our physical circumstances, in order to kind of take stock, take an inventory on again, what needs to stay, what needs to go. Now, the moon in Taurus energy kind of slows the pace down just a tad. It is a fixed earth sign, so we could feel a little bit heavy, a little bit weighted, because of course, we have to be present in our physical bodies. And so the moon in Taurus, we slow the pace, we focus on the small things, we find enjoyment in the small things, we crave stability, we crave what is tried, tested, true, and familiar. We're really looking to just kind of bring a sense of safety and security to our physical realm and emotional realm under this influence. We're not really pushing the boundaries of trying to come up with new solutions or come up with new ideas. However, the elimination process that we're currently in from now until the new moon is going to trigger and activate some emotions, some let's call them intellectual aha moments and pop offs on again, what we have to provide an ending and closure to before we can pivot and start building towards something new. So with all of that being said, four different aspects taking place here today, all four involving the moon, and we kick the day off with the moon in Taurus energy, making a very positive interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. That North Node is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us to think about the future, trying to get us to grow, to evolve, especially in knowing thyself, building upon the relationship that we are currently trying to, you know, kind of unpack, especially with this new version of self that we just brought out to play. We are starting to realize again, we're not going too far into the future, but again, we're trying to realize the options, the opportunities for us to move forward in a new path, in a new way, in a new direction, and listening to how our physical body is responding to this hypothetical situation. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings, who, of course, is in Gemini energy. Again, why we have very extreme options and opportunities, different paths, different directions to actually choose from. We are very divided on what we should be doing, where should we be going from here, and we are trying to weigh the pros and cons of these different options and opportunities available to us. It really doesn't matter about the division at this point because Jupiter is bringing some optimism. He is bringing the silver linings. He is bringing the opportunity for us to see where there is a new path, an exciting quest, an exciting adventure just around the corner. However, the moon in Taurus energy, not ready to kind of, you know, 
initiate this new path, this new direction at this point. Again, trying to stay present, trying to think about the options and opportunities available to us. And again, listening to our physical body and how it responds when we kind of allow ourselves to move into la la land and imagine what this futuristic vision would actually look like, would feel like the details that it needs to kind of have and piece together in order to illuminate the greater grander vision on where it is that we actually want to end up. So this is going to illuminate for us where it is that we're building in our confidence, building in our self-worth, building in our value, because of course, when we're building the relationship dynamic within ourselves and we're feeling good and we're building ourselves up, that particular energy manifests in all the other relationship dynamics that we have going on in our external realm. The moon is going to make a little bit of a tough interaction with Neptune. So Neptune, of course, he's retrograde in his rulership in Pisces energy. He rules over our dreams, our imagination, our spiritual selves, our intuition. This particular energy, of course, is going to create a little bit of tension and conflict because we have the moon in this Taurus energy rooted in the present moment, rooted in reality, rooted in what is while Neptune, on the other hand, highlights what could be. And again, we only give ourselves so much permission to go so far into our future vision, our future dream before we start getting uncomfortable and we bring our attention back to the present moment. So it's at this particular point in time where a lot of our dreams, a lot of the visions that we're having, a lot of our wants, needs, and desires for a future vision, future self, it does require a lot of change to the present moment that we're just not comfortable with as of right now. So again, it's highlighting the discomfort that we are currently realizing that we have to go through in order to break away from where it is that we're at and end up where it is that we desire to be. The last thing that we have going on here today, again, only four different aspects is absolutely bewildering to me, but the moon in Taurus is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, who is retrograde in this Pisces energy. So this is why we're watching, let's call it the deconstruction of religion, deconstruction of false gurus. The Pisces energy is about our belief system. It is about, you know, it, what we believe is what we manifest and vice versa. When we manifest something, it's coming out of a strong core belief. And if you have limiting beliefs, you're not able to manifest. And what you are manifesting, if it's not favorable, so if you're in a situation where there's some messy circumstances, you have to take a good look at what you actually believe. Do you believe that you are worthy and deserving of love, of happiness, of safety, security, or are you kind of leaning towards self-sabotage? You kind of leaning towards, again, thinking that just when something good happens in your life, that the ball is going to drop. We really have to kind of deconstruct why it is that we think the way that we think, feel the way that we feel. And it is quite honestly, very strongly connected to what you believe is true. Good, bad, or otherwise, whatever you tell yourself is the truth to yourself. So we have to be a little bit careful at this point as we kind of, you know, rip away the old limiting belief system, the old limiting ways of thinking about what it is that we actually want for ourselves and build something better in the place of the things that we're currently removing. Side note, we love Taurus energy and Pisces ener energy working together. The Pisces energy is like our higher selves. It's our intuition. It's our spiritual selves. But whatever we're able to kind of dream up imagine, if you will, in the Pisces energy, we're able to bring it to life and give it form here in our physical realm through the Taurus energy. And so the moon interacting with Saturn, it is a positive interaction. So we're not getting a harsh reality check. We're not getting negative Nancy and the mean girls coming out to play as we would if it was a negative interaction. Instead, we're going to see a certain focus, a certain concentration, if you will, on the structures in our lives. Structures meaning routines, relationships, finances, the way that we go throughout our day, the relationship dynamics that we pour into. It is the mundane, monotonous, same old, same old of our physical realm. Take a good look around. You built this. Whether you enjoy where it is that you're at or not, a certain belief system, a certain focus, 
a certain vibration and frequency has created your existence in the physical realm as of now. If you don't like it, we can change it. If you do like it, we can build upon it. Saturn at this point is bringing our attention to the structures in our lives, especially where the limitations are, but we're not going to get negative about it because we're rising to the challenge. We're now focused on what we want to build, what we want to create, what we want to bring to life. We're either expanding on new ideas or we have a little bit of a solid foundation in our lives. Something's already in place that we now want to expand upon. So this kind of brings a little bit of a different focus into our lives. It also kind of gives us this boss up energy because of course, in order to build something new, you have to have a plan. You have to be able to actually have the vision, the goal, the dream manifest on the plans before you can actually take energy and execute them. So we're in the building phase. We're in the cultivating phase of new ideas, new excitements, new inspirations. And this particular energy is just having us focused on what we want to bring to life, what we want to build from here.